Hello. Are you here for another Two Minute Tuesday? Let's go. All right, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely needed a pick-me-up this morning, so I went over to Starbucks and got something to prep this video and get it going. If you're new here, my name is Carla, and I've been doing this mini-series on my channel where I talk about different dog breeds and learn about them as I practice some digital painting. So if you like dogs and you like painting, definitely stick around. And today we're talking about the Havanese dog because we're on the letter H. And yeah, I'm just finding a nice reference photo to get this started. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's go. Havanese dogs are a small breed that technically originated in Tenerife, Spain, but the breed's ancestors were brought to Cuba by the Spanish around the 1500s and then interbred with local dogs. And these dogs developed into the Havanese with little, if any, outside influences. Over time, the breed became very popular with the Cuban aristocracy and they valued their beauty and intelligence and their affectionate personalities. The Havanese was even referred to as the Havana Silk Dog because of its luxurious coat. And today the Havanese remains a beloved breed in Cuba and around the world. In the 18th century, Europeans that used to vacation in Havana discovered the Havanese and it became a popular breed among Spanish, British, and French nobility. Over time, and with Castro's revolution, Cubans fleeing to the US brought their Havanese dogs with them, and the lineage of the modern Havanese that we have today can be traced back to those 11 dogs that came with their Cuban owners. One thing that makes the Havanese breed unique is their long, silky coat. This coat requires regular grooming to keep it healthy and tangle-free. Havanese dogs are also very intelligent and trainable. They excel in obedience and agility competitions, and they are quick learners and enjoy being challenged. Okay, right now, this painting is starting to look a little bit like Chewbacca, <laughs> like an adorable little Chewbacca, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue with these hair strokes and hope for the best, really. Another great thing about the Havanese dogs is that they are generally healthy and live long lives. With proper care and attention, they can live up to 15 years or more. If you're considering getting a Havanese dog, it is important to research a reputable breeder and make sure that you are prepared for the responsibility of owning a dog. And Havanese dogs require daily exercise, socialization, and mental stimulation. Havanese dogs are not only friendly and outgoing, but they also have a great temperament. They are known to be very affectionate with their owners and enjoy spending time with them. And they are also great with children and other pets, making them a perfect addition to any family. I got some questions about what brushes I was using and I realized that maybe you guys aren't able to tell from how fast this was moving, but I am using brushes under the organic tab and I have not purchased any Procreate brushes. These are just the ones that come with a program. So I'm using one that is short hair and the other one long hair, as well as the one that says fine hair. And I'm just switching between all of that like a million times. As I mentioned before, their long silky coat requires regular grooming to keep up with and keep it healthy and tangle free. And this is not only important for their appearance, but it's also good for their health. Their coat provides insulation in both cold and hot weather, and regular grooming helps to prevent matting and skin irritations. It is important to note that Havanese dogs require daily exercise, as I mentioned before, socialization, and mental stimulation, and they are not the type of dog that can be left alone for long periods of time, and they require a lot of attention and affection. So I'm about to show you guys the finished painting, and I'm still kind of iffy on the background color that I chose, but in the end, I decided to go with it. I feel like it, it's all right. I feel like I could change it and be happier with it, but I had spent so much time with this painting. The hair was really, really difficult to do, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. It is really cute, and these are such cute dogs. I really like them. If you have a Havanese, make sure to leave your experience with the breed down below. And other than that, I'll see you guys on the next Two Minute Tuesday. Bye.